What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing hood pins on the 135. As you guys know recently I installed a Sabon BM style hood from Keys Motorsports. I'll be honest with you guys, originally I was just going to send it without any hood pins. Upon further research and educating myself I realized that that's probably not a good idea. As much as I'm not particularly a fan of hood pins, I'm also not really a fan of losing a hood and a windshield at the same time. So we ended up going with some hood pins that I got off of Amazon. I'm going to have them linked down below. They're a little bit more expensive in terms of all of the different hood pins that are available. However, I didn't want like the oval shaped ones. I wanted the circular shaped ones because I think that they're like the most low profile. You can't see them as well, but these got really good reviews and I think they're going to be a little bit easier also to install than the oval shaped ones, but it shouldn't be too bad of a process. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So here are the actual hood pins. And as I said, I I got these little circular ones. They're a little bit smaller than the other ones that you see a lot of people running. I also really like how these ones are pretty low profile. So they're gonna sit relatively flush in comparison to a lot of the other options out there. These right here are the actual pins. So we've got a couple of mounting locations in the engine bay. I'm gonna show you where those are at. But essentially what we're gonna do is drill out some holes, sit these in here, lock them in, and then this is gonna protrude out of the hood and it's going to latch into this piece. In terms of accomplishing the job, it's not too too bad. Uh, there are going to be some things that I do a little bit differently and there are going to be some things that we don't do completely at this point in time because we do still have to go into paint and get things PPF'd. So we are going to have to take these back off. But once we get to the end of this project, we are going to fasten these in so they're a bit more on the permanent side. Walk over to the hood so I can show you guys exactly my plan of attack here for taking care of this. So I was kind of looking around to find the best location in order to fasten in our actual pins themselves. Made a little mark right here. Seems like this is where the majority of people place these. It is a support bracket running across the front of the car. I sort of chose this location based on what was going on on the other side. So if we look at this spot right here and over here, we're gonna have the most amount of room for this pin to slide all the way down. But basically we want that to sit something like that, obviously through this hole. If you try to go through any of the other spots, there's just not enough clearance to get the pin all the way through. And we do have to be able to do a little bit of work on the other side to put these nuts and washers on. So I sort of landed with this area right here and on the top of the hood, that area sort of puts us right about there. We're going to have a pin right there and a pin right there. Some people like to run them really far out to the edge. I think that that looks kind of weird in my opinion. So I wanted to keep it a little bit more centered without going past this crease. I also didn't want to put it too close to the crease because then the top of the latch system will sit uneven. So you wanted to pick something that is relatively flat in an area that's going to secure well, that's going to give you enough space to drill through and fit this entire pin in there without having to make too much modification. So first things first, I've actually marked both sides evenly and these should be completely symmetrical as this support bracket is completely symmetrical with the hood. So what we are going to do is we're going to actually drill these holes out first large enough for our pin. We'll start with a smaller hole, move up to a bigger hole. Then we will go ahead and lock the actual pins into place. And then on top of the pin, we'll throw a little bit of anti-seize lubricant on each side. We'll go ahead and shut the hood and that should leave a little mark on the hood as to where we need to be drilling into the actual hood itself. So when we do the actual drilling, we will start with drilling on the underside, but we're gonna use a very, very small bit. I don't wanna use a large bit going from the bottom up through the carbon. Once we have that very small hole, we'll go ahead and put it down. We'll then have our actual drilling locations on top of the hood. And then at that point, we'll lay down all of our tape and then we'll eventually end up using a hole saw. I ended up getting an inch and a quarter size hole saw. That measured out to be just a little, just a tad larger than the circumference of these threads right here on the bottom of this latching system. So the latching system is pretty self-explanatory on the top. You just take off this nut. It's going to slide in and then the nut will go on the bottom side of the hood and it will hold it in place. When we go for final fitment, we will use some thread locker as well as a little RTV on the inside of the hood where we cut. You obviously won't see any of this, but it will keep water out and it will also lock all of the nuts and threads in place. In between there, we'll also do a little bit 
of sanding to make sure all of the edges are clean and smooth. Here is the actual hole saw that I'm using. As I said before, it is an inch and a quarter for the size of this guy. That seems to be just perfect, especially taking into consideration the little bit of RTV that we will have on the inside of the hole on the hood. I want this to sit snug, but I also want it to be sealed and I don't want water to get in there. First things first, we are going to drill out the holes for these pins. We're gonna start with a little bit just like this, and then we'll move up to a larger bit just like this. Looking at the bit size, this is just a little bit larger than the actual pin itself, which should be just perfect. Got our holes here, drilled out. One thing I do wanna note is if you're gonna drill this close to the edge of it, you're likely not gonna be able to use your washer on top, but I do have some other washers that are a little bit thinner. I could use those if I wanted to. Back here, you can sort of see when I was drilling all the way through, I also drilled through this on purpose to make sure that this could go all the way through, but this is about all the room that we can get. So if this needs to go any shorter, which I presume it probably will, you may have to cut this entire bolt, remove some of the metal on the other side, or you could drill through here, but then, I don't know, you risk running into your headlights. So what we'll likely do is just end up chopping this like right there or something so we can afford a little bit more room. Also want to note that this is in fact metal, the support bracket. So you're drilling into something that is going to be able to hold it down, lock it down really well. It's not just plastic or anything. All right, so we have our little spots here. They look symmetrical. I'm happy with them. I will do a little bit of measuring from there to there, from there to there, from there to there, there to there, just to make sure, but I'm pretty certain that that's gonna be in a good spot. So here comes the scary part. We are gonna have to drill through here. Keep in mind, this is fiberglass and carbon fiber. So I'm gonna throw on some gloves. Don't wanna get this stuff all over you. So I just set this here to catch some of the stuff. But yeah, these look good. They look super even too. Looking at them, they look identical, which is awesome. So I did end up measuring. I basically just measured from this point to this point, this point to this point, and then same over here. And they were nearly identical. So I think that this is gonna look really good. At the end of all this, I am gonna actually paint match this hood. Everything is pretty much going to be black. And then obviously these will be exposed. So they will stick out a little bit right now, being that they're black on top of carbon. But once everything is done and the project is finalized, they'll look pretty good, pretty stealth, you know, as close to as not noticeable as possible possible with you know having to run a carbon hood and hood pins. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna lay down a bunch of painter's tape and then I'm going to notch out this little hole so I know where it is. Basically when we drill out this hole, you wanna make sure that it's as flat as possible with the hood. I'm talking about the hole saw part. If we just drill it straight, as in like with the pin, obviously the top latch part isn't going to sit like that. It's gonna sit a little bit like this because the hood has the curvature to it. So you wanna match the curvature with the hole saw. All right, I got everything sort of lined up here. Got my painter's tape. You can see the dimple right there. That is where the pilot hole will be going into. What I've done underneath here is simply just put a two by four where this piece is hitting. And if we're gonna drill into anything, it's gonna be a two by four. This will also give us enough leverage to go ahead and pilot that hole in. Also laid this down just to make sure that we don't get a ton of fiberglass in there and carbon pieces. And then we'll just flip that over to the other side when we do that. Here is the hole saw bit that I'm using. This is a inch and a quarter Milwaukee tool. And if we match this up with our latch piece, it's 
literally perfect to the size of the threads. And then of course, this will just sit right like that. So I think that this is gonna work out really well. You do have a bit of flexibility with the pin that goes in. So it can sort of go in at an angle and still sit in there and lock. You can see how this is sort of rounded out. That gives it a little bit of flexibility being that it's a ball point. But um, yeah, now for the real scary part, let's just go ahead and start smoking in these holes. It's, uh, you got one chance, <laughs> one chance to do it right. Say a prayer for me. So I'm just sort of test fitting everything, getting these all lined up, and we're gonna make sure that everything latches. These might have to come up a little bit, but we will find out. One thing we are gonna have to do, as you can see, hitting that lip on the fiberglass on the inside right here. So once I find the correct spot that these latch into, we're gonna end up making a mark around here, and then we'll just dremel out this corner right here so this can move all the way flush with the hood. It's gonna have to be very careful because we really don't have a lot of room to get in there. All right, I think I did a pretty good job. A little nick right there, but it's okay. We can cover that up with a little bit of paint. A little flat black paint, won't be able to see it. Side looks pretty good. Got it notched out. All right, so now in theory, our nut should be able to fit in that area. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Huh? Huh? Pretty good. So now we're gonna see if these latch well. I do know that we have to lower the pins a little bit. So we'll just be gentle. We just wanna make sure that everything latches correctly. Oh, there they both went. You can see these pop up when you do that. Now it's unlocked, now it's locked, unlocked, locked. Everything is nice and flush. Looks really good, very, very good. I'm happy with that install job. But however, you'll see we are latched. We are completely latched on the pins and we have about a half an inch that we need to make some adjustment to. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna shorten these pins a little bit. Um, it looks like we have about an inch or so that we need to shorten them because we are hitting the inside of here and I don't wanna drill into there. I'm just gonna hit the headlight. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to cut this pin and just chop off the bottom of it so we have a little more room. It's also gonna make it a lot easier to work back here when putting in the bottom nuts. See how this works out. Shit. <laughs> I think it's perfect. I think we nailed it. I think we nailed it, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. These are decent, man. They're not too over the top, not too big, you know, fairly easy to install. Everything is still pretty loose right now. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more things we're gonna do. So basically the way that we would go about opening the hood now at this point is we would do unlock, unlock, unlatch, and your final hood latch, factory. Good to go. All right, so now that we're happy with everything and it is where we want to be and it works out and it looks good, we're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of Loctite on these and lock them down right to where we want them to be, which is where they're at right now. So we'll make sure we got the correct measurements. Tighten them up, lock them down thread locker. Then we're gonna go ahead and pull these off and we're gonna throw a little bit of RTB on the inside of the carbon and the fiberglass where we cut just so it's nice and clean and no water can get in there. We're essentially just gonna be creating a gasket, but we are not gonna put these back on until the RTV completely cures because we're not trying to seal these to the hood. We're just trying to create a little bit of a gasket inside of there of silicone so the latches and the nuts can compress into that and just create a really nice tight seal. So I'm gonna do that right now. Did 
that silicone is also gonna help keep any water from getting in between the fibers where we cut in the fiberglass and the carbon. It's just going to seal that off a lot better just in case water were to get in there. I have one other thing that we're gonna do on the top of the actual latches themselves, but I have this very thin adhesive foam that I've used in the past for certain things like wing risers, and you can sort of just cut it to whatever shape or size you need. I'm gonna lay a strip of it around the edge in here. So basically it's gonna be creating a foam lip on the inside going against the carbon. Again, making sure that no water will get inside and also creating a very, very tight bond. The other good thing about this foam is it compresses all the way flat. So you're not gonna see it. This isn't gonna lift up above it because of the foam. It's gonna be completely flat once we tighten it down with our nut. So once our silicone completely cures, which will take at least 24 hours to completely, completely cure, we'll go ahead and pull off this tape. It's gonna be adhesive on both sides then. And we'll go ahead and put these back in and then just tighten her up nice and snug. And yeah, we should have a really, really good seal. A little bit of RTV and also this little foam gasket maker. I think we're gonna be in good, real good condition. So we got those locked in, super, super tight. A Little bit of thread locker, exact same stance. Should be good there. Put a little bit of RTV on the inside as well. Just make sure that we were cleaned up and that no water could get in there at any point in time. I think that's gonna work out well. Four hours late there. All right, been about four hours. It's not completely cured, but it's definitely gonna be okay to reinstall everything for us. So everything is locked in. Nice and tight. Let's go ahead and finish these off. All right, so this should be good. Foam should compress enough to where it's not sticking up too far. I think it's gonna work. Let's see, throw that on there. Tighten these down and see. All right, so I just locked everything down and I didn't put any thread locker on these yet because again, the car's gonna go into paint and then also get PPF and these are gonna have to come off. But once everything is finalized, I will put a little bit of thread locker in here as well. All right, so you definitely need two hands when closing it now. Apply pressure to both latch sides. And obviously you don't wanna like have it be off center or anything. But yeah, it's good. Freaking tight, man. Got confidence in this hood now. This thing ain't going nowhere. I think these look really good. They're just. Perfect. I'm quite happy with this. Super clean install job. Looks really good. Subtle. Um, just get used to having to close the hood with two hands. Pressure on that side. Pressure on this side. And yeah, you're good. say I think that turned out really good. I'm happy with this install. I think it's gonna last a really long time. I think that these hood latches are the perfect option for this build and the direction that I'm going and the install really wasn't too bad. So now we are latched and ready to go. We've got a lot more things on deck for the 135. As you guys know we keep trucking. We keep pushing along with this build but that is gonna wrap this one up. You guys thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in any merch 
go ahead and hit those links down below. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support and the love. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.